What's going on guys, Medicine in 3 Minutes back here with another video and today we're going to be talking about the proper approach to uh, rheumatic pain. Are we going to get straight to the point, we're going to keep this subject as always clear, brief and illustrated, so let's get started. Okay, so to make a diagnosis uh, of a rheumatic disease, it's actually really necessary to define certain criteria such as uh, the number of joints affected, whether uh, the symptoms are acute or chronic, or uh, elective localization of some joints. So basically, what joints uh, are affected, which areas. Okay, so this will this is a little chart that I'll show you which type of arthritis you're dealing with. Now, if it is one uh, one articulation, then you're actually dealing with uh, monoarthritis. If there is one to three, then you're dealing with oligoarthritis. And as you can see here, it's infectious uh, crystal and serum. Uh, if you are dealing with uh, more than three, then you are dealing with polyarthritis. Okay, now for each one, you're actually going to be dealing with uh, sub diseases. Uh, like, for example, for oligoarthritis, when it is infectious, uh, you are going to be dealing with gono or staph. If it is crystal, then you're dealing with gout or pseudo gout. If it is zero negative, then you're dealing with the acronym PARR, which is either uh, reactive, uh, ankyspawn, IBD, and psoriasis. Now, when you're dealing with polyarthritis, uh, the viruses that are uh, that you can possibly get are hepatitis C, HIV, EBV, CMV, and Parvo B19. Now, the five S's, which are five diseases. Uh, there's seropositive, syphilis, sarcoid, stills, and sepsis. So those are the five S's when it comes to polyarthritis. Okay, so you have to understand what the difference between acute and chronic is. Now when it is acute, then uh, basically it is onset inflammation, which is uh, calor, dolor, or tumor, which is the Latin terms. Uh, there's generally high fever, intense pain, and impotent joint. Now the ESR is actually really elevated when it comes to this. Now, when it is chronic, uh, it is onset insidious, so it is, it is very silent. Um, there is chronic pain, moderate pain this time, uh, mild fever, and a lot of weight loss. Again, the ESR is elevated, but not as quite. It's, it's more moderate. Now, when you're dealing with monoarthritis, it's generally going to be acute. Same for uh, oligoarthritis and uh, polyarthritis. But when you're dealing with seronegative, it is generally going to be uh, chronic. Same with uh, seropositive. Now, it's really important that you guys understand the difference between acute and chronic. So just a little uh, reminder, acute is onset inflammation. Uh, they can be described by the Latin terms calor, dolor, rubor, and tumor. Uh, and again, it is a high fever. You will experience ex intense pain, and the patient will usually have impotent joints. Now, the ESR is, uh, again, it's seriously elevated, so that's something to, remind, uh, to remember. And when it comes to chronic, uh, you'll have onset insidious, so it'll be a, a bit harder to, uh, to find. It's going to be more quiet, but uh, there will be chronic pain. The pain is, again, more moderate. Uh, there will be a mild fever in some cases, and there is a lot of weight loss. The ESR is elevated, but uh, it's, it's, slight, it's quite less. It's, it's more moderate this time. Now, when it comes to uh, localized uh, finding, some of the articulations or the joints. Um, when it comes to os uh, osteoarthritis, it will be the big mechanical weight-bearing joints. Now, those are located in the knees, the hips, and the shoulders. So basically, any joint that really has a heavy load to carry. Now, when it comes to crystal, it'll actually be the big toe. That's, that's, that's an easy one. And when it comes to seropositive, um, if it's a lupus, it's going to be the big joints such as knees, hips, and ankles. Uh, when it is rheumatoid arthritis, um, such as the little, you'll have the little joints, which is the hands and the wrists. So you just keep that in mind. Now, just again, recap in the video: uh, monoarthritis is acute, one articulation only. Uh, oligoarthritis is one to three artic articulations. Uh, it is acute. Uh, some of the diseases that you can get from it are infectious, uh, which are gono, staph, uh, when it's crystal, is gout, pseudogout, and again, the, the chronic part of oligoarthritis, is, which is uh, seronegative, 
Uh, again, some sub-diseases from that are uh, psoriasis, anky spawn, IBD, and reactive. Um, when it comes to polyarthritis, again, uh, it is acute. Some of the viruses that you can get that are acute are hepatitis C, HIV, EBV, CMV, and parvo B19. And what comes to the chronic part, uh, you have the five S's, serum positive, syphilis, sarcoid, stills, and sepsis. So those are the chronic parts of polyarthritis. And again, it, this is only the case if there's uh, more than three joints. Now, what is the difference between acute and chronic? Acute is uh, onset inflammation, color, dolor, rubor, tumor, high fever, intense pain, impotent joints. Uh, the ESR is seriously elevated. Uh, for chronic, onset insidious, chronic pain, moderate pain, uh, mild fever, weight loss. ESR is moderately elevated this time. Yeah, so check out our book, Butcher Gardens in Asia Pacific. You can find it on uh, Amazon, Kindle, KDP. It's a really great book. I'd highly recommend it. And yeah, that about sums up this episode of Medicine in 3 Minutes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry sorry, it was a little long one today, but uh, it was a very important video. We have to get it out. We have to explain it uh, in as much depth as possible. So definitely leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Leave some comments. Let us know uh, what you liked about the video. If we didn't uh, explain anything properly or if uh, there's anything we can improve on. Yeah, we're, we're definitely ready for you guys' feedback. So thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll see you guys next time.